Hi everyone and welcome to the fourth lecture of tree series. In this lecture, I'll be discussing the problem tree distances one. The problem states you're given a tree consisting of n nodes. Your task is to determine for each node the maximum distance to another node. This is the sample tree given. Now for this tree, um, the tree is rooted at the first node. For the first node, the furthest distance would be two, which is distance from one to the fifth node. For two, it would be three. Which is distance from the second node to the fifth node. For three, it would be two, which is three to two. For four and five, it would be three. Right. And we need to print this for all the nodes. Now, the brute force solution for this would be to run a DFS for each of these nodes and finding the furthest node from that node. Right. But let's say for n nodes, we're running the DFS and the com time complexity for the DFS is O of n. The total time complexity comes out to be O of n square, right? Which is not very efficient and won't work. We need to develop an efficient method to find the distance, the furthest distance for each node, for any other node, right? So let's take a node V. Now, V has a few children. Right? And the parent of V is, let's say W, and the parent of W, X, X. Now the furthest distance, now W has a few children, right? The furthest distance from V, maybe to a node in its own subtree, or in, to a node in the rest of the tree. Right? These are the two possible cases. Now in this problem, we will be using rerouting. So, firstly, define let's define three values for each node. First is um, max distance, or let's say a node x. This would be the maximum distance, the furthest node, right from from a node x. Second would be max d two x. This would be the second largest distance to the from a node x. Third will be C of X. C of X is the neighbor of the node X that X travels to to reach the furthest node. Right. So let's say for V, the furthest node lies in this subtree of this child. Then this child would be the value for C of V. Right. Now first let's try to find the uh, partial answer, which is when the furthest node lies in the subtree of v this we can find by uh, firstly calculating the heights of each of the children adding one to it and taking the maximum right because we are also traveling through an extra edge so we need to add one to it right so the max uh, max d of v would be the max height of ui you are the children let's say u1 u2 u3 and so on the height of the children plus one right this would be max and the max d2 of v would be the second um, second largest distance the second largest height for any of the child right and c of v would be the child that gives the maximum height right so we will firstly find these three values for all the nodes in the tree next we will solve for the case when the furthest node in is is in the rest of the tree right Let's say for V, there is W, W as children C1, C2, C3, and so on, and also as a child V, 
and the parent of w is x now let's say we have already calculated the final answer for the w node right so we know the max uh, d of w we know the second largest distance um, for w and we also know the c of w right so there can be two cases first first is when the c of w is v right which is for w to reach the farthest node it is traveling through this edge to v right and for in in this case the answer for the partial this partial answer would be 1 plus max d2 of w since we cannot take the maximum d of w because it is traveling to the same uh, same edge and uh, so we need we take the second largest distance from w to any node and add one to it one because we are also traveling this edge from w right this is the case when c of w is v secondly when c of w is not v which is uh, which means uh, w is traveling to either one of its children or to its parent right in this case we will simply take the answer 1 plus max d of w right now in this case um, if this answer is greater than the first partial answer we calculated then I think this is greater than the max d of v this is from the previous partial answer that we have calculated then in this case we set the c of v to w right because we are traveling to the w node to get the largest furthest distance from v and in this case similarly we would set the c of v to be w right so just it let's look at the solution firstly calculate for results with substituted rooted at a node i calculate the results outside the substituted at i so firstly for finding the height of each node we run a dfs let's call it dfs1 the max d is initially set to 0 and max d2 is initially set to 0 for all the neighbors of the node v if it is the parent you know we will continue uh, not process this one otherwise we'll firstly call a dfs for that node right uh, to calculate the height of that child now if the max d of that child plus 1 greater than the current max d of v then we will replace the second highest max d with max d of our current max d v and we will replace the max d v with max d of x plus 1 right and we will change the c of v to x otherwise if the max d of x plus 1 is greater than the max d 2 of v then we will replace that right and let's look at the second DFS to find the complete answer. Now, for all the neighbors of V that are not the parent, if C of V is that particular child, then max D of X, which is the answer calculated from the par previous partial answer, is less than the max D to V plus 1, then we will replace it. And change the c of x to v. Otherwise, we will update the max d to x to be max of max d to x and max d to v plus one, right? And when it is c v c of v is not x, then max d to x will simply be max d x, and max of d x would be max of d v plus one, and c of x would become v, right? And then we will run the DFS for the child.